What is it that is keeping you in a state of restlessness, anxiety, fear, and worry? What is that thing? I want to assure you, as a driver, give thanks to God. Start to give thanks. The quickest way to your breakthrough is giving thanks in the midst of your troubles. When Jesus came to Lazarus and he was dead, he said, God, I thank you. I thank you that you let this happen for your glory to be glorified. How about in that mess? How about when everything seems to be collapsing around you? How about in that family failure, in that financial crisis, in that debt crisis, credit crisis, healthy crisis, family crisis? How about you lifted your eyes to the hills and said, where does my help come from? I thank you that my help comes from the creator of the heavens and the angels. Because they that trust in God, they're like Mount Zion, for they'll never be moved. They'll never be moved. You won't be moved. You won't be moved. Him who touches the mountains and they smoke. Him who looks at the mountains and they melt. How much more shall he do in relation with you who has gotten his DNA? You carry God's DNA. You carry God's seed. You carry God's sperm. The word sperm is the same word as seed. You are God's DNA. You carry in you God's divine DNA. When the earth looks at you, it looks you at you from the image of your father, not from your carnal flesh and blood image. It looks at you from the image of God that he said and he created and said, let us make man in our own image. God is not flesh and blood. The image of God, the Bible says in the book of John, First John, and it says that God is spirit. For God is spirit. So when the earth, the world and the heaven looks at you, it looks at you from the image of the Father, from the image of your nature of divinity. That's why the Bible calls you the sons of, I've made you gods over the earth. He has made us gods over the earth. Because we carry his DNA. Like a father looks at the son and takes pride in the son because they look at him, they walk like him, they act like him, they speak like him. It gives father pride. Likewise, our father is in heaven. Everything that he has created, when it notifies, it sees us. It recognizes us, not as carnal beings, but as spirit beings carrying the image of the Father. And when we release the word of the Father, speak like the Father, think like the Father, walk like the Father, walk like the Father, believe like the Father, have the same ideology like the Father. Whatever we decree, and it comes in the womb of the Spirit, Creation is inevitable. 
That's why we ought to rise up every morning and soar into the realm of the spirit, of the womb of the spirit, that creation may come, may come, that our Lord, our owner, in whom we carry the same possession of his divine DNA, seed, sperm, cannot let down himself because everything in us he carries in himself. So he cannot let down himself. I want to encourage you this week, this month, may we continue to thank God for all the bad, for all the messy situations, for all the dark moments, for all those things that restlessly restlessly keep pressing unto us with worry, anxiety. Let us thank him because behind them there is an invisible God with invisible hand ready to translate and exchange his supernatural will and best promise over you in the natural. I want us to decree and declare with thanksgiving right now. Father, I thank you for every person that is on this altar, that is listening and has been giving thanks uh, the moment we started on this altar. We thank you for the open heavens that has gone with us this entire week, this entire month and this entire year. We thank you for the breakthroughs that you're bringing towards us. We thank you, oh God, for your love that is endless towards us, for your mercy that is endless, for your faithfulness that is endless. We thank you, oh God, for your light that has silenced and quenched the darkness that wanted to destroy us. We thank you, oh God, for the evil altars that have been destroyed, that had been intended to put us asunder. We thank you, O oh God, that when the enemy comes in like a flood, your spirit raises a standard. We thank you, O oh God, that you've strengthened that spiritually. You've given us spiritual vitamins. My God, that we may be able to to overcome all evil, all satanic uh, uh, temptations. We thank you, oh God, for revitalizing uh, our spiritual immunity, that it may fight any form of darkness uh, and unseen uh, uh, evil in our lives. Uh, we thank you for the spiritual appetite for your word. Uh, we thank you, oh God, uh, for your breath of life over us. Uh, we thank you, oh God, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, for having taken care of us uh, while on the road. Uh, we thank you that our uh, blood has not spilled and shall not be spilled on the land of the earth while on the highways, while in the cities and in the countryside. We thank you, my God. None of us uh, has fallen to sickness, to heart failure, to heart collapsing, to mental breakdowns, to homelessness as drivers. We thank you, oh God, for your peace uh, that surpasses all our troubles, uh, that surpasses all our issues. We thank you, oh God, that you've gone with us always. We thank you that you've given unto us, not that the world gives, but my God, as you give, we thank you, my God, that you satisfied our mouth with good things. We thank you, my God, that you restore us, oh God, my master, that for we've forgotten the former things, and behold, you do a new thing. Don't we see it? It springs forth in our marriages, in our families. We thank you, oh God. Mm that these things come back unto life. Them that the enemy oh God had swallowed. My God that had brought to dead our finances our marriages, our children we thank you that they are coming back to life in the word of God, in the fear of God. We thank you that our businesses are coming back to life. We thank you oh God that our destinies are coming back to life. They are coming back in order. We thank you oh God that open doors, great and effective doors have you opened unto us. We thank you oh God that you've gone before us like a mighty Baruboa. We thank you for the fire that you've surrounded us. We thank you that you've cancelled all our past mistakes of our lives and you've imputed no sin upon us. We thank you, oh God, that my God you, you are risen and our enemies have fallen asunder. We thank you, oh God, that was what meant to whatever was meant to destroy us. My God, you reversed it to destroy our enemies and all the evil satanic agents, oh God. We thank you, my God, that your fire has arisen and 
calling on all the shrines of witch doctors, of palm readers, of divine enchanters, of all evil agents that had, my God, been positioned to control and monitor us on the highways. We thank you, oh God, that you've unfolded the evil agendas of death on the highways that had been planted against us. We thank you for your healing, invisible healing in our bodies, in our body organs, in our kidneys, lungs, hearts, blood, arteries, bladders, oh, mm ovaries, uh, fallopian tubes. Uh, we thank you for the infection that you've raised out of our bodies. Uh, we thank you, my God, for the peace uh, that we've not gone into mental breakdown. Uh, we thank you that you've sustained us uh, in the midst of the fire. You've not given up on us, uh, even though we've walked through the valley of shadow of death. Uh, we've not feared any evil. We thank you that you've gone with us uh, and prepared a table in the midst of our enemies. Uh, we thank you that surely mercy is goodness, surely in goodness and mercy uh, have gone with us all the days of our lives. Uh, we thank you for your face shines upon us and your countenance has gone with us. We thank you, my God, that my God, you made us to be above and not beneath, the first and not the last. We thank you for your favor. We thank you for your grace. You thank you that the systems of this world have worked for us. We thank you, my God, even this day, that my God, we are far from any authorities of the land and the highway. We thank you, my God, that we shall not fall victims to any and called uh, evil agendas, uh, evil words. Uh, we thank you that we do not fall victim uh, unto any form of uh, satanic powers, curses, spells, uh, reproach, slander. We thank you, oh God, uh, that we are not falling victims to sin. Uh, we thank you, oh God, uh, that you're making a way where there are seems to no be nowhere, God. Uh, we thank you that you're clearing our path. Uh, we thank you that you're opening our eyes to see that which is good and that which is evil and to flee away from that which is evil. We thank you that we tread not our feet in darkness and that which is evil. We thank you, my God. We give you praise. We give you glory, honor, and power. Thank you that you go with us. You drive with us. Thank you for the peace. And thank you, O God for having called us uh, to deliver all uh, our packages uh, and readers, uh, my God, perfectly without anything missing. Uh, we thank you, oh God, for causing us uh, to deliver our, de our riders uh, without uh, any problems, oh God. Uh, we thank you, oh God, uh, that we return in our homes uh, without any bone broken or any, any flesh of ours. Uh, my master spilled. Uh, we thank you, oh God, uh, that we are in oneness uh, of spirit and united with your heart and kingdom and uh, your minds will. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor for this one hour, oh God, that you grace us with, to tell with you in your presence. Honor, power, and majesty that belong to you. Thank you for making us an authority in the realm of the spirit, of the supernatural, that we call things are not that as though they were. Thank you, oh God, that this day, this week, this month, this year, that none of any driver shall die, but they will live long to see their great grandchildren and live to their olden age. We thank you that you satisfy their mouth with good things. We thank you that you provide all their needs according to your riches in glory. We thank you that, my God, they do not lack, neither their children beg for bread, or their children shall grow. They will walk in the fear of the Lord. They will serve God. They will be married. None of them, my God, God, shall walk into homelessness, shall go into mental breakdown. None of them, my God, shall shall get astray. We thank you for the restoration. We thank you for the reward that you gather back the nations and the children back unto them and draw them from every form of captivity. We give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' name, we thank you and we bless you that even this day we go with you. Let your banner be lifted. Let your glory be rested upon us. Let your light go with us. Let your peace go with us. Let your, your kingdom ways, my master, prevail in everything that we are going to do today to the people we are meeting, to the people we are accessing. In Jesus' mightiest name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.